Welcome back to Tales of SideQuest Zeph! And this time around, we are going to continue with the graces and... Wait, something's not right here. Anyways, we're going to just continue on with the side quests and Tales of Graces Zeph. Oh, hi, bartender. Oh, Malik, perfect timing. Listen, I need you to go pick up some stock. You mind tending the bar for a few minutes? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm... okay. Welcome, friend. What'll it be? Uh, surprise me. You got it. I call this one Tomorrow Never Cries. It signifies hope for the future. Hope for the future? My family business hasn't been doing so well lately. I've been pretty bombed. I guess it's obvious, huh? Just a coincidence. Hope I didn't offend you. Nah, in fact, now I feel, it try I feel like trying harder than ever. Great. Well then, hmm? Wait, please! I can't take it anymore! I I'm sorry, please don't ang be angry. Uh, I'm tired. I just want out. No, please don't say that. Come on, that was just a stupid argument. It's not just today. But with a highborn woman like you, uh, you only serves to remind me of my own miserable station. Th then I'll run away from home. Hey, you don't get it, do you? That's just the kind of thing I don't need to hear. Drink? Leave me alone. Huh? It's on the house. I don't need your sympathy. All right then, I'll drink it. What? Wait, what is it called? Mabo curry today, toddy. It signifies hope for the future. Hope. <laughs> Sip sob. Oh, he's not worth your time. Hey, thanks for taking care of the place. It happened again, eh? Thanks for your help last night. You know, you're always welcome. You all done, Captain? Yep. Yeah, y'all. Malik, when can I see you again? You don't need me anymore. Besides, if you uh, need another marble curry today... Toddy! Is that supposed to be today? Marble curry toddy? Oh, uh, whatever. I mean, whatever. You can just ask the owner here. Hee <laughs> hee, you're such a flirt. Do you know her, Captain? I'll tell you later about lots of things. <laughs> I think he means more than just the stuff there. Okay, so... Was that just completely pointless? A stiff drink, or I can't forget. Tactics will always be here, so you can remember. Okay, whatever. Whatever, a little side scene. Okay, now, let's see what else can we do here. Let's go down and take a look at the inn to see what requests might be there, and we will maybe figure out something. I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. Okay, you. Tell me what uh, requests you have. You have a beef bowl and natural scent. Can I get the natural scent from somewhere? Uh, I should probably just go, like, find stuff. Like, I should probably just do a bunch of these requests. Focus on a city, do all the requests, and then move on. Uh, but first of all, we need to go to Cat's Corner. Cat's Corner is the next location we need to go to, because we need to go and, um... Actually, why don't we just fly to Launt? The cat's really close to that one, and we need to go drop off the pudding request anyway. Lots of side quest request stuff, and... yeah. Meow meow! Yes, go to Cat's Corner so I can go see Mr. Sleepers again. Crap, what voice did I give him again? <laughs> New recording session. What voice did I give this <laughs> little bastard? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Are you staying? Yes. Uh, yes. Nice and cozy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, pearl wind thread. Yes. Stuff. Alright, that was... Okay, I think I can kind of remember it. You're a problem too, meow! Who is this? Excuse me, but who are you? Mr. Sleepers, I'm your client, Meow. What did you want with us? Quiet, Meow, and it's not us, it's you. M me? Spin around and let me take a look at you, Meow. Um, Meow, it is cu it's the customary fashion check, of course. Now hurry up. Um, how's that? Now what do you say, Meow? Uh, could you please rate my outfit, Mr. Sleepers? Those clothes suit you since you're young, Meow. But 
Are you wearing them in formal situations too? Because if so, meow! Uh, well, you've got the wrong meow! You think that your youthful look good looks will just cover up fashion faux pas? No, no, I just... Come with me, meow! I'll give you a thorough looking over. But, but that's why I put the request up in the first place. Where are we going? Never mind, meow, just come with me! They're gone. I'm sure they'll be back soon. What's taking so long? Maybe we should have followed them. Come on out now, meow! What do you think, Sophie? It's really cute, Sharia. It feels great, too. That's a good look for you. I call this theme Innocent Maiden. Are you sure I can have this? Of course, Meow! Or on one condition. There was a boy who carried a sword with you, wasn't there, Meow? You mean, Asbel? I want you to leave him here, Meow. What? So where is he, Meow? I'm not leaving Asbel with you. You're a stubborn one, Meow! What does he mean to you anyway? Well, um, he's kinda... God, just spit it out already, Meow! Oh, never mind, just, just, Meow! He's certainly a strong-willed little guy, isn't he? I'll say. I said it once, I'll say it again! That slot! There we go. Okay, let's go. Uh, viewer requests. What's left here? Glow fruit. What the hell? I lost something very important to me, meow. Uh, if you couldn't find it, I'd be so grateful I could yowl. Okay, glow fruit. I don't know where to get that. Uh, tanned leather. It's a tough one, but if someone were to bring me this, meow. Sing meow, meow. Oh, uh, is one of these a shop? Yeah, item vendor. Um, let's charge up my mixer. Uh, oh, hey. Cool. They, they actually got some decent stuff there. Holy crap. That actually kind of surprises me. Um, do I have anything I can quickly sell? I better keep some of this stuff. I have no idea whether or not I can... Uh, oh, that's the movies. I don't know what kind of stuff I'll need to trade in at whatever point, so... Might be worthwhile keeping some of this stuff around. Um... Anyways, I think we'll just head on out now. So, what should we do next? I think I'm gonna cut it out here, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do next, and then I'll head off in that direction, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have what I want to do for right now, at least. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the item shop and take a look and go talk to the uh, item shop man to see if he's actually come up. Oh, yeah, it's seen here. Ah, perfect timing. Did it bloom? It sure did. It's in a flower pot inside the house. Why don't you go take a look? Okay. It was just, it was a melon scene, just melon seed, just like I thought. Melon? You mean that, uh, that obscenely expensive fruit melon? The very same, and I'd like you to, I'd like to give you the first one. Thank you! I'll give them, I'll give you the one the little lady is looking at now. With the vine still attached, it's quite valuable. No, you should keep it. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure we have time to, or the talent to grow it on our own. Besides, everyone would be thrilled if you were to grow and sell melons. I agree. Very well. They will, they're, uh, they'll still be a bit pricey, but I'll sell them at a cost so all can benefit. By the way, your friend's been in there for a long while. Let me go check on her. How was it? It was cute, just like I knew my baby would be. At least it felt like my baby, anyway. Well, that, that beautiful, huh? I don't know about beautiful, but it definitely looks strong. <laughs> then it must be Sophie's baby. Melon! Yay, we got a melon. 
Sweet. Okay, the next thing I wanted to go do is I want to go hand in the pudding that I made. Yeah. It's good stuff to go and hand in. Master Tonic C is sweet. Oh, God, I haven't gotten some of those in a while. Okay, so we go to here. A few requests, and uh, we got the pudding. Music box. Uh, Phantom Flare, cool. Uh, that little rat stole my precious treasure and hid it. Please help me find it. I'm old and I don't have time for such tomfoolery. Okay. I don't know where you are, lady. But uh, for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to head up to Velenik uh, to complete a side quest we've actually already completed. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Um, I can't remember exactly where we need to go for this one. Is it in the inn? Um, uh, we need to talk to somebody, I think. Or do we have to go back here, maybe? Let's see. Uh, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, here you go. Here you are. Ah, forsooth. My words have escaped me. What seems to be the problem? Do you need help? Perhaps, fair miss. For you see, I am a playwright. The villagers here bear a countenance most dour. And so I thought to stage a play in the hopes of raising good cheer. That sounds wonderful. But alas, my words do fail me. For when I strike pen to paper, I find the muse of wit has fled. The disappointment of the villagers will be most palpable, and I cannot bear to face them thus. Oh, that's awful. Asbel, we have to help him. What should he write about? I... Don't really know what he's talking about. Sorry. Perhaps you could write about the love between two brothers. Hubert, I never expected to hear something like that from you. What about the bond between a master and pupil? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Captain. You just sound so serious right now. Alas, my friends, that will not do. I must have a subject to which all can relate, from the noblest king to the most squalid groundling. I thought my idea was pretty good. Think back upon the halcyon days of your childhood, fair miss. Was there art which brought you comfort? Um, well, I used to pretend I was a princess. A princess? Gadzooks! You have the right of it! But curse the day! I have no sources from which I might draw inspiration. Um... I suppose we could help you collect some. A fairer bargain has never been struck, my good lad. I shall inform the innkeeper of my needs at once. Well, apparently that guy needs some princess books. Hey, guess what five books we got during our entire co our entire journey here so far. What can you do? Uh, you can give the dude the books. I have a drill, too. Five books! You have struck at the heart of my search, and for this, I thank you. Now I can begin my script for true. Good luck. We can't wait to see it. It is not work to be approached with a light hand, but I trust you shall handle it admirably. Handle? What? Why, the performance, of course. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think I understand. You shall be my actors. You will don the cap and caper beneath the proscenium arch. B wait a second. We don't know the first thing about acting. Actually, I used to be in an improv troupe. No one asked you. Fear not, my friends. The light of talent shines upon you all. And you, fair miss, shall have the starring role. I get to be a princess? Guys, we are so doing this! I had costumes woven from strips of old burlap and the dreams of children. So make haste and put them on! But you haven't written anything yet. No matter! The muse of words shall flow through me like lightning! Oh, and you men will need to change outside. Wow, it's the princess dress I've always dreamed of. 
And I bet the princess gets a handsome prince. Yeah, whatever. Where's my costume? And mine? Hey, this costume's actually cool. Now I'm nervous. How very splendid for you. <sighs> I can't believe I have to wear this ridiculous outfit. Captain, that's nothing compared to mine. Welcome to the play, Sherry White. I am Princess Sherry White. Oh, what a lovely sky, and lovely trees, and lovely forest creatures. The only thing more lovely is my happiness. Come to me, my friends. <laughs> Princess Sherry White was beloved by all for her kind heart and loveliness. But meanwhile, back at the castle... Ah ha ha ha! I am the queen! I am the most lovely woman in all the land, for my magic mirror tells me so! Jeez, he's terrible! <laughs> Why do I have to be the stupid queen? My legs feel naked. And these expository lines are absurd. No one talks like this. Hey, that queen kind of looks like the lieutenant from Strata's military. Oh, crap. If they find out who I am, I'll never be able to show my face in Strata again. No one can know of this fiasco. Very well then, if they want an evil queen, then an evil queen they shall have. Boa ha ha ha! Mirror, mirror on the wall! Who's the fairest out of everybody? What? It's me? Oh, do go on! Mm, I must be wrong. The lieutenant wouldn't be caught dead doing something like this. Hey, what's up? I'm like a magic mirror and stuff. <clears throat> Listen to me, mirror. I must confirm that I am the most beautiful woman in all the land. <laughs> Wrong! The new winner of the world's most beautiful girl contest is Princess Sherry White. Yay! Princess Sherry White, you say? Blast! There must be some mistake. Dude, I don't make mistakes. I'm a mirror! That loathsome, insolent wretch of a child! How I hate her! But wait! If I were to kill her with this poison apple gel... The queen sent the poisoned apple gel to Princess Sherry White, who was at the time living in the forest with some gnomes. Ho oh, hi! Ho oh, hi! It's off to work, you guys! Goodbye, Mr. Gnome! Good luck! I'll be back in a jiffy, Princess! Oh, it's a present! I wish I knew who had sent me such a lovely present! Oh, it is an apple gel! I shall eat it right away! Oh, oh no! I have been poisoned. At this rate, I shall surely die. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Once again, the most beautiful woman in the world is me. Yay, yeah, you! <laughs> Princess Sherry White is... is... <laughs> Why? Why did you have to die? Just then, 
a prince who was passing by appears in an amazing coincidence. I say, Mr. Gnome, who is this lovely young woman? This is Princess Sherry White. Someone sent her a poisoned apple gel. She ate it, and then she died. That's terrible. Let me awaken her with my kiss. Do as you like. <laughs> It's really gonna happen. Now, Princess Sherry White, awaken to my kiss. Yes! Yeah! Encore! Encore! <laughs> Princess Sherry White then opened her eyes. It was a miracle. And then she and the prince may or may not have lived happily ever after. But what of the evil queen that sent the poison apple gel? She soon heard of Princess Sherry White's miraculous recovery. She then smashed her glasses and ripped her skirt and pulled a curtain from the wall. Consumed with rage, the queen smashed the magic... We did it, Sherry. Yes. Oh my gosh, she's so close. I think I'm embarrassed. So, uh, I guess we have to stay like this until they stop clapping, huh? Um, Sharia, your face looks kind of... red. It's nothing. What's gotten into you? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, sweet redemption! I heard the audience clap until their palms were raw. Did something happen with Asbel and Sheria? I think they're still a bit dazed from that kiss. How absurd! Only a child would swoon over a fake stage kiss. Indeed. At any rate, our performance is finished. We should return to the task at hand. One moment, please, Sir Captain. Yes? Your performance was truly a revelation. I was taken to my knees by the force of your spirit. Don't try to swat the bug on the screen. It's the fake one on the, in the game again. You were? In honor of this, I bestow upon you the title of Best Supporting Actor. Well, I suppose I am a little old for the lead. But thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh god, it's smooth, Malik, smooth. Okay, this time around, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, I'll do fire in the hole next time, so. See you guys then.